there's some satisfaction to see the light bulbs go off in people's minds when they start thinking about, well, what do you want to put here? Or what, what do you like about this part of the city? What don't you like? And to have them start thinking, it's kind of an education process too. You're teaching them something and they're learning about their community and they get a sense that they do have an important say in what happens. It's not, you know, my role to tell people what they want in the general plan, but actually to hear and solicit input from them and let them think about the future and what they want for future generations, which is of course sustainability, how you want to preserve resources for the future of the city. One of our guiding principles is to have a lot of engagement with the public. You need to sign in here and then you go through at Courthouse Square. Uh, we had a tremendously successful meeting with the, the, the community. We had a lot of exhibits and maps so people could look and respond to. There were a lot of booths whereby we discussed various topics such as transportation, circulation, housing, things of that sort. And there's a lot of members of staff there to explain what they were looking at. I run a program called the Neighborhood Liaison Program, which is a program that encourages residents to be engaged civically as well as to get together with their neighbors around anything that they're interested in, whether it's a block party, disaster preparedness training, or having their neighborhood go green. And introduce you to your speaker, Ed Everett. He is the former city manager. Community is only built by citizens. Write down what do you complain most about? Just write it down. And At the workshop people were signing up to become official neighborhood liaison coordinators which is great. So they're saying that they want to be in touch with their neighbors and they want to get together with them, get to know their neighbors. So just go ahead and put a dot where you think your house is at. It's over here somewhere will offer them a city facility to use for whatever community improvement program, project, or event they want to put on. The idea is to just make positive change. The biggest part about sustainability has to do with educating our residents, and a lot of the residents are passionate about sharing that education, that information that they have, and we're trying to provide them with at, at various levels. It's really exciting and empowering as city staff to see the residents really want to make positive change in the community. If you want one of these signs in your front yard and you live in Redwood City, Menlo Park, Palo Alto, or Sunnyvale, all you have to do is give Actera a call and set up an appointment. Yeah. Beth Ross is Redwood City's Environmental Initiatives Manager. Um, ideally, a whole neighborhood would take this on and the neighborhood would have green at home signs and, and their, on their front lawns and there'd be a real... Redwood City has played a leadership role in incorporating environmentally sensitive um, and sustainable practices into its own operations and I think has been a real leader in community building as well. So my job is really helping to focus both of those efforts to uh, bring community building to environmental issues and to bring environmental issues into the community building work of the city manager's department. It is a big task, but it's a much needed task and it's part of what I think is required in order to create sustainable communities. We want people to feel part. They have a say in what their future of, this, of their city is or will be. Um, and that's important. It's their community. We need to feel a part of it. And that's what we're trying to do.